for Dibley. Thought I thought a, a guy who was picked last in the NFL draft wouldn't amount to anything. I'm sorry. Who wins the Century of Champions the uh, out in Hawaii this week? I've got a pick. I've got one pick. Who do you guys got? Mark, I know you got this. I don't know. Come on, <laughs> Tournament of Champions. Me? Are you kidding me? Ches Reedy? Right. Oh, you know how many things are going on in life right now coming right. out of the holidays and the Hello, NFL friends. playoffs and all this to get to golf picks right now? I'm going to go Jordan Spieth. Right. Uneven yeah. lies. He plays really well at Castle Doesn't Hill. hit it far enough, though. You don't think? I, the easy, Tiger playing? The easy no. choice okay. is uh, Xander Schauffele. Look he plays you. great at Kapalua. Uh, but I'm uh, fantasy golf. I'm in a one and done where you pick two and oh, yeah. and you lose them. Yeah. So um, I went pick? I went down the board this week. Uh, I think we got Sung J M and uh, Sam Burns is my pick. Sung J M just signed a contract with Nike. My, Bonte, one more of these fast fives. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna get there. You would love Sung J M. Yeah, you would love him. Plays every love, week. I don't love uh, Bryson he DeChambeau. He didn't even buy a house yet. He's out. Yeah, he's yeah, a live golfer. Live. Yeah, no, and I know he's he sucks anyway. It's douche ambos. Yeah, douche ambos. Yeah, he is a douche. Nice. And nice. keep him off. Keep him off the challenge or the match, or whatever on TNT. So boring. That is not riveting on, television. Yes. My shafts so are all the same length. Dude, watching yeah. Kepka take him to school out there in Vegas warmed my heart up. Deschambeau, y'all hyped him up so much. He's the only guy Dude. who can make Kepka look like a good guy. Right. <laughs> when Kepka did right. the breathing. And so ends the golf by. portion of the show. Kepka, yeah. five, Kepka's five. the evil frat boy in every single teen movie <laughs> of all time. <laughs> yeah, oh, these oh, these golfers are yeah. something else. Brooks, uh, four away, Brooks. lasting for Fat Five. When Curry returns, will he start or come off the bench? He will be He'll in start. the starting lineup. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. last year in the playoffs, he came off the bench for the first four games. So, valid question. By the way, go back. He'll come off the bench, but Clay never will, yeah. which I think no. is a fascinating uh, dynamic. Seriously. No, he came off the bench because well, he had a foot but, injury. But he's not All afraid. Right, I mean, no, he had a foot injury. He yeah. didn't know what type of condition. I'm not saying he Clay said, should. Look, I'm, I'm going to ease into the lineup. Yeah. No, Clay Thompson should come off the Clay, bench. Clay would Why if would there he? were circumstances right. like that. That was circumstantial. Yeah, the circumstance was his rookie year. No, not that wasn't. since has he ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why should he? Yeah. Why would he? Why should he come off the bench? Guy scores 54 and 30, and we're coming down his road the next day. I mean, he might as well be on the bench when Jordan Poole has some ball in his hands. I mean. Go, Jordan, go. <laughs> that was Fast Five brought to you by Xfinity Supercharger Home with supersonic Wi-Fi. I know Unbeatable what he's going to do. internet only from Xfinity. You are listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMG, FM, and HG1, San Francisco. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Download the Odyssey app and favorite 95.7 The Game for the best and most up-to-date sports coverage. Don't forget that you can also watch us every day on our YouTube and Twitch streams. Just log on to search 95.7 The Game. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel while you are there. You guys have at it. Uh, so Stein and Goo yesterday had Bob Myers on and made national news, obviously, with the thought that Steph Curry might be tracking to play in San Antonio next Friday. Let me, go, let me go. You brought up Stein and Goo. You're about to bring up Cross. No, 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 no. That's what I thought. No, no, no. No, no, no. I didn't. Man, we, I need, mean, to, we yeah. need to figure out. We need to get a dump button now on our right. side of the. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, the best was I'm watching on oh, YouTube. The block was hot. Shout faces, out to Shamari Block. The face is Guru's never been whiter in his life. Well, that, that's Guru true. Guru with a great line. He's like, you and I are like Michael Jackson in the Thriller video, <laughs> eating popcorn. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I gave him a silent five because I didn't want to get involved. It got so heated. I was doing it with on the YouTube on, just to yes. watch. I was, I was doing, just sitting in my car and I was like, oh, let me pop up YouTube. <laughs> you see saw me you saw me doing jumping jacks at one point if you were watching on YouTube because I was trying to get everybody's attention to be mm. like, ah, did you hear it? Did you hear it? But anyway, um, no, Steph Curry uh, confirmed that he's going to play next Friday um, by going on NBC Sports Bay Area yeah. in the third quarter yeah. last night. You remember when we when we did this last year and I thought it when I saw it, I thought of Stein and Goo again because it was almost like I I'll never forget the changeover with them the day after they had Steph Curry at Chase Center about a week and a half, two weeks before the playoffs started. And they came in, and it was like, remember, they, they were peacocks for a week because this was like great interview and all this. And I'm like, but guys, it's more important than that. You understand, Steph, because at that time we were like, is Steph going to be ready for the playoffs? I'm like, Steph is going, like he just confirmed it. And they're like, why? I'm like, because he talked to you. Like, I wonder if, if, if listeners and fans, do you know this? When someone's hurt, they are, that is off limits. As the media, unless it's unless not, it's George Kittle week one in Chicago, and I'm just teasing. Right, but that you was don't, a joke. No, like they're or you could go yeah week two going can, to Michael Silver. Yeah, they can they <laughs> can change that, but they rarely do. Like you're not going to go get someone yes. who's hurt, and and they're not going to come talk to you. So the fact that Steph did the third quarter on TV last night tells me everything that we need to know. He's good. He's ready. He's in the ramp well, up. 
He'll play next week. Were people concerned about him not coming back? Well, he's gonna. You didn't know when. Yeah, yeah, come yeah back. I mid January. I thought was always. Yeah, yeah that was the whole. Four to six that was the, the whole. subluxation of the shoulder. I'm just concerned, and that's only four. Next yes. week is only four. And I'm I'm just really concerned about the the propensity for the repeat injury when you have that. So I'll be keeping my eyes on his ability to go with the lefty layup because that's when your arm is most vulnerable yeah. when you put it above shoulder height. Yeah. Luckily, it's his non shooting shoulder, but. The way this team is humming, and put last night aside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I fine. It, that was a great game. And Ivy's you, fun. Tip the cap to Sadiq Bay for. Are you kidding me? I mean, if oh, you're going to lose, dude, yeah, you're going to lose on a step back, twenty eight footer. Yeah. I, tip the cap. How about the inbound you know, play from Steve Kerr? Unbelievable. Everybody's going, where so, is Ty Jerome throwing it? So right? good. It was amazing. So and come on, beautiful. Looney just sauntering over, beautiful. setting a screen for no real reason no. until boop, boop, boop. So here, let's, screen. let's get to the meat, Dude, the meat of last such night. A great Best screen. part of last night for me, Isaiah Stewart, Draymond Green, about to get into a tussle. And I don't think either of them would. Like, maybe a kerfuffle. Yeah. And Draymond puts the two arms on him. So it got us to thinking, starting five. Any sport, like any this. era. I like this. Okay? Guys, you don't want to mess with. Anthony Slater was nailing it, by the way. I was listening to okay. his his five coming in. So what are yours? I would definitely go with uh, Charles Oakley. Okay. Oak. Oakley, Oakley came to mind. Sure. Who's the gentleman? I, why am I blanking on his name? Who who comes on and, and cusses Xavier on McDaniel. your show? Yeah. Oh. Xavier McDaniel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say his name. X-Man's yeah. on there. X-Man. He's he like won the Doobie Award. Yeah. Yeah. He won yeah. a Doobie Award Do as for... Thank Best you. guest appearance on the morning roast. So. I also thought, you uh, know who scared the hell out of me just watching him on huh. TV is Anthony Mason. Mason's a good one. Anthony Mason. Mason. Oh, so you have a story like, when oh Xavier McDaniel became a New York Nick. Yeah. They were trained. They had a training camp in South Carolina. First day of training camp, Xavier McDaniel and Anthony Mason are throwing blows <laughs> at each other. And Pat Riley was like, oh, Heavy I love bow. this. I mean, it's Mason, Oakley, and X Men on one team. On one team. On one team. Oh my God! Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the 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 Ray Lewis one is good, but uh, I was thinking initially Ooh. of like Lyle Alzado. See, that was school. mentioned a lot today. Uh, just, I didn't see him play. Uh, well, and again, I'm a little cut from yeah. a little bit of an older cloth, yeah. uh, a little bit of an ancient fabric over here, but. Plus the idea of him being juiced up, you know. Oh yeah, you got an aggressive good. juiced up. Oh, well, that's why Albert well. Bell would make most I like people's list. Albert Joey Bell, as you so astutely say, what he did to Fernando Vina. Oh. Vina's just trying to get to second base. Right. Oh no, no, Bell I mean, was going to second. I mean, obviously, if we're going to put a baseball player in there, Tommy Pham, clearly, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> that was on our list. Clearly, Bill, Bill, Bill Romanowski was on my list. Romo, okay. Charles Haley. Romo, Artest, X Men. Is- Charles Haley's uh, a great one. Anybody Part- anybody who had those linebacker eyes. You exactly. know, Mike Singletary. Yes. Like, oh my God. Don't control. think about like off the field. Like, Ron Artest yeah. is a great one because, you know, he will come up in the seventh row and confront you. So mm. there's that extra level of, oh, yes, aggressive on the field. But like, that's why when Slater said Mike Tyson. It's a good one. Remember what he did to Mitch Blood Green? Oh, yeah. When he came across the hood and buried Mitch Blood Green just in the street. If yeah. you're watching pigeons on a rooftop, chances are I'm avoiding you. Like, you guys have seen the, <laughs> the, 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 like, he was feeding pigeons on a rooftop. There's just clearly a lot going on. There. And for me, it's, yeah, it's on field yeah. or in the ring, and it's also that, that sort of off yes. field, well, out of the and, ring. And there combo. are so many, I'm sure you guys have all encountered people like this, especially in football, where, like, there's just something when they go between the lines that happens. Kevin and Dogan. they become this completely Man. different being. Like, the one that stood out to me is Troy Polamalu. I don't know if anybody, no. you, ever, you ever talk to him off the field? Is he soft-spoken? Oh, my gosh. Like yeah, like, it, it, yeah. seriously, he sounds like somebody who would, you know, it sounds like maybe somebody you'd meet at church, and yeah, he has yeah. that kind of voice, yeah. and he just, everything is so polite and so soft-spoken. And then he grew his hair down to his butt and went on the field and freaked the nice. bleep out. He like, was awesome. yeah, he he. That was. Did you guys ever transformation? Hear this? I know you were covering the Lakers for a time yep. uh, down in SoCal. Did you ever hear this sound from Ron Artest <laughs> after a Laker playoff game when he's playing for the Rockets? They ask him, Ron, have you ever been involved in a game this physical? I understand it's playoffs. Sure. I remember when I used to play back home in the neighborhood. It was always games like that. You know, I remember one time it was on. Um, one of my friends, you know, he was playing basketball. They was winning the game. It was so competitive. They threw, a, um, they broke the piece of leg from a table, and they threw it. It went right through his heart, and he died right on the court. So, like, I'm accustomed to playing basketball. Really rough. <laughs> He's laughing. I'm like, dude, he has got a table leg through their heart. And then I Googled this. I found this during the yeah. during the raid. It happened. Is that real? It's yeah, real. It happened. Yeah, it it happened. 
They're like, it, uh, wherever he's from, you know, in, in New York. Queensbridge. You know, uh, Queensbridge, uh, QB. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a Shout resident was stabbed with a Shout table leg through the heart and Nas died. Nas the brave hearts. Look at me. Good Lord. So I'm accustomed to a physical so play. So no big deal. Yeah. No big deal. I would, yeah. I'm, you had me channeling Lo Neal for two reasons. Uh, the first of which is you guys were talking coin tosses earlier. Yes. His high school, Lamore High, they did not make it to the playoffs based on a coin toss really? in that same fashion. So like I was, Friday Night Lights? I was going to text you. Yeah, because you, you, yeah. you mentioned uh, Caribbean High School. Exactly. And the same thing happened to Lo Neal. And the other reason is no, no, no. you're talking about these <laughs> these physical, like, dangerous right. guys. Yeah, and he yeah. talks about the dome Patrol yes. and being a rookie Ooh, and Pat going and they didn't he have a well, nice Jackson, a Ricky Bond, City champ, Dunbar, yeah. Pig Golf is what Mills. he talks about. They're yeah. all playing poker and he came in and he was like, "Hey guys, can I play?" And they looked at him like, "Rookie, go get us some beer." And he said he'd never been so scared in his life. <laughs> then they're all smoking cigarettes, you know, <laughs> in the locker room at halftime, yeah, yeah. and these dudes. So when you, when I think about what you're talking about, these yeah, tough yeah. guys, I think about Lo Neal. And some of the guys that he would oh, tell me that. that he played with. Go to hell, Dibs. I love that. The cigarette <laughs> thing is funny to me. Like, I was watching this documentary. I was telling him about it. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. The Battered Bastards of Baseball. Mm -mm. And it was Kurt Russell's dad started an independent baseball league that played in single A. Everyone's just blowing heaters in the dugout the yeah. whole entire time. And they're, I'm like, yeah, you know, Jim Leland did that in the 90s for the Marlins when he Fred was a manager. Dean. Yeah. Fred yeah. Dean was doing it yeah. in the 90s yeah. locker room at Candlestick. It's just a totally different era. It always is. Every, every 10 years, you look back and you're like, we did that? We did that 10 years ago? What the hell? How? I mean, gosh, you know, Kyle and I were playing the holiday week when you were off, Dibs, because Taylor Rogers signs with the Giants, and we're playing that Coors Light Twins ad commercial yeah, campaign yeah. from, what, 15 years ago? You you bring that into an ad room now, into a boardroom, never you did. get fired. Yeah. Well, nobody you said Jack fired. Tatum until the 650 did. <laughs> Jack, Jack Tatum's Tatum a good one. Mobile text line. Jack Tatum's Bill a good Bill Beer. Rasheed Wallace, Tony Allen. Come on, you it's can a do a lot guys. of this Dave from Stewart. the old 49ers. I mean, there's, Hunter Strickland. there's a guy by the, like, his nickname was Hacksaw. Yeah. Right? Hacksaw yeah. Reynolds. Pete on, the, on the stadium Ronnie uh, Lott. during the Super Bowl. Ronnie, what about Ronnie Lott? Well, Ronnie Lott, the reason I took him off is because he had to go into the locker room while being a Raider. He had to go into the 49er locker room because no one could calm Charles Haley down. So I put Haley above of Lott well, because of that. He's like, crazy. Imagine that. He's crazy. Yes. But still, anybody Ronnie who's Lott. like, I don't need my finger yeah. i need to go back out on the uh, on the yeah. field yeah. But is I think also he was more about, is also crazy he's super crazy yeah. but i i'm They're thinking also kiss me i'm like, thinking more like in, in terms head. of like yeah. guys who would be that's out there trying to hurt you yeah like, you know this right. is next yeah, that's level. what i'm saying like he'd like put his arm around yeah. like i love you brother like i i can yeah he's more but affectionate that's, but that's that's the polamalu effect that's i'm true. talking about yeah, like some true. of these guys ronnie lott on the field Oh my God! Headhunter, it was oh, unreal. Right, unreal. Bill like Romanowski ended brutal. his teammate's career with a <laughs> with a practice yeah, punch. I mean, that's he spit in the face of the another. Ginger, ginger, ginger. I mean, yeah. the things. Yeah. Remember, that, remember the hit he had on Kerry College in the preseason, yes. where he broke his jaw coming on a blitz on the outside. He was playing like it was week preseason. Eight. Yeah, preseason broke Kerry College's jaw. Okay. Okay, dude. Guess what? We got to get him back I out of here. <laughs> we had him on one late oh, night. I know we had him on a weekly for yeah. years. He was like, I told Antonio Brown he can come into my cryogenic chamber. We could freeze the feet. I'll cut off whatever's injured. I'm dead <laughs> no, serious. No, no, the sickest. Dead serious. This is the sickest so thing I've ever heard from Romo. That's so good. The sickest thing I ever heard from Romo. Three for your Romo. Dude, we used to do the football hour with Lo oh, Neal, oh, Romo, and yeah, the yeah. voice of the Diners. And we sit there. I didn't even know you were in the room. Yeah, I didn't even know. He, he was in the studio. We were in the studio. He was in the room. So well, I forgot how we got on the topic. But Rubble said, you know, I knew I had a problem. One day at Veterans <laughs> Stadium, I'm playing for the Eagles. We're playing for the, really Fe good. We're playing the Phoenix Cardinals. And Larry Sinners, okay? Larry Sinners playing fullback. He was a beast. I tackle him. I stomped on his head seven times. And later in the week, I said, you know what? That's just not right. <laughs> so, you thought it was not right after he the seventh Christ. stomp? Midweek. I mean, two stops uh, in. Like, first of all, one stop. Why are you stomping on Larry Sinners? Okay. So, I, okay. Uh, I did not know more. everybody in the room did such a good Romo impersonation. Oh, it's a limited okay. I got to go We're get in the lab. This oh, is well, years this of Romo. Romo. After Miles Garrett, we had him on after Miles oh, Garrett. So what the hell with Guru and I on a Friday? And let me guess, <laughs> and, dude, standard <laughs> operating procedure on a football field, he thought. <laughs> no. He was like, you know. When I spit J.J. Stokes' face, I knew when I became a Raider, I had to stand up in that locker room. 
And I had to apologize to everybody. <laughs> I had to explain myself. And he did it with the Broncos as well. Uh, and it was just like Lincoln Kennedy came in later. I was like, you know, Robo, Lincoln, we had a problem with Lincoln. Nicest Big Lincoln, human yeah. being of all time. Yeah, Big guy. Link was like, you know, Largest we had to talk well. to Robo about it. It's like, it's four years later. Oh, it's been man. So oh, space. He was unbelievable. Uh, Richie though. Incognito, as we're talking oh, offensive oh, linemen, we may want to throw him in the oh, no, no, no. oh, if we're going to go linemen, Kyle Turley. Ta- we talked about Did Turley. Did you mention Kyle Turley? He was nuts. Incognito, keep but again, from off the field, Turley's <laughs> just trying to help everyone. Oh my God. Great Turley, guy. Issues. Turley's story is unbelievable. Yeah, he had some yeah, issues. Yeah. So yeah, he's, once a Raider, always a Raider. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Turley is now doing. He's got a business in the in the CBD world yeah. because he feels like he found. Now I don't know how this all works. Mm-hmm. Like, does every strain work for every? I asked him one time, "Do you know for sure that you have CTE?" He started laughing uncontrollably. He's like. Of course I've got CTE. Kyle Turley told me one time, check this story out. This is crazy. Must have been at the Super Bowl because no, we, we always all No, I had him on a pod. I had him on a pod. He's really close with E from Salam. They went to Sk- San Diego State together. Thank you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a bo- 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 we need a plumber. Anyway, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, Kyle told, he told me the story. He, <laughs> he goes, he, before he found this strain of CBD, I, I go, what, what was life like at that point? He goes, let me describe it this way. I moved around. A lot. I played a lot of different yeah. teams, and, and so over a 13-year uh, run, I, we he goes. Me and my wife probably lived in 15 different houses. Damn. He goes. The one that we're living in now is the first one where I didn't pull all the cabinets off of the wall. <laughs> His episodes Jeez. were headed to a point where he was going Taking to a dark turn. <laughs> he was, he, yeah, like no, but this is no. Uh, right? I hear you. I hear you. He was going to commit Damn. suicide. He Ugh. was going to be one of those stories. Yeah. He was on that track. Sheesh. He was going to lose his family. It was all, and, and now he's now they're. I mean, the family's great. Yeah, he's he's a positive person. Like it's 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 something well, the and he wants the NFL to look at it and and he says they won't. Well, it's interesting. It's it, a good it's a funny tweet, Drew, to have on YouTube. Sounds like he wants a remodel. <laughs> so he's doing. You know, the, the, he's looking the, the for a sponsorship. The, 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 window, window, windows and doors. The pill thing is interesting because you heard Derek Carr, and a lot of people laughed at the, the whole thing. But like, if you listen to what he's saying, he he was crying about, literally crying, saying that you people don't understand what we do to our bodies to actually play on Sunday. And we don't. We have no idea. We have no freaking idea what what they're doing. And so to me, it's like, yeah, hmm, all of these shots and all these these pills and everything. And we all know people in our lives that have addictions for whatever substance. And, you know, if weed or CBD or some form of it can help people, to me, I'm open to it. Of course. Of course. And it's all better than being, you know, hooked up on Toradol and Vicodin and all the rest of it. Because, you know. The one thing about uh, the medicinal marijuana yeah. products, they tend to be less addictive yes. than opiates, certainly. And, you know, we talk about fentanyl and all the rest of it and all the other Tom- tragedies. So- Thomas Jones was saying he was drinking every single day after practice at the end of his career. Yeah. He, he just, like, came through. He's, he's changed his life. But because of the pain, literally because and he was sick of taking pills. So speaking of recovery, I really wanted to ask you guys this before you get out of here because I was listening earlier this morning to your whole conversation about what to do with this Bills Bengals thing. Yeah, it's such a hard and, one. And I know you were listening Man, to we Change Over so yesterday. so much fun four minutes ago. Well, no, so, so and, and did <laughs> you and I were on the same page yesterday that yeah, the precedent yeah. in the NFL is that you play. Like they're going go to on. find a way to yeah. play this game. And it sounds like momentum is actually turning into a spot where they're going to not play this mm. game. They're going to cancel it. But Schefter was tweeting earlier today about a new idea, and I think it came out. You got to do your Schefter if you're going to talk about Schefter. Resources. I Thank think you. At, after you guys have the discussion, <laughs> so I want to throw I want to th- oh, throw I this, this at tweet. you. Yeah. What is it? So Let's first of all, the update is Demar Hamlin is squeezing hands of his family yeah. members. He has opened his eyes. Thank God. There's responsiveness, and this is I. If my gosh, it just sends chills down. Uh, my whole body to even say it out loud. It's so awesome. So and it that's... appears that there is no long-term cognitive yeah. damage, right. which yep. is, that's the biggest, huh. right. that's what was, the biggest yeah, the piece of it. Neurologically intact. intact. That's yep. incredible if that's the case. So what do you guys think about this? You offer, because the Chiefs, Bills, and Bengals all had legitimate shots at the number one seed, mm-hmm. and now that will be sort of ripped from them. So if you just go by winning percentage, let's say the Chiefs win Saturday over mm-hmm. the Raiders, they will have the best winning percentage. But what you offer them is a choice. Do you want the one seed and home field advantage throughout the playoffs or a buy? Not so and a buy. Theory, or a buy. In theory, if you get the buy, the Chiefs would become the three seed. They wouldn't play 
until two weeks later. But if they do end up facing the Bengals or Bills down the road, they'd be on the road. Mm. So I'm you not get, want to do that. So you get a bye That's and a week off. It so essentially the choice. Get, the you get two, a choice. The two seed, huh. in theory, would be if you choose not to have the bye, huh. but you get to be at home for all of your games. So you would play the so, seven seed in week one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would basically default to the it's two, but you would get... So you get to choose your matchup. But right. I said, well, I and, like and you get home field. You get home field, but you're going to have to play an extra playoff game. An extra game against a good team. That's it's and that's the, pretty good. The reason I kind of dig it is it's creating a round robin between the three teams and saying we're not going to decide which one of you won because nobody did. Yeah. All of these other th- ideas that I've heard, like they take competitive balance and throw it out the yeah. window. You start gifting the Bengals the division Someone's gonna and you're get gifting. Screwed. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. gonna. But this, I think. It's not bad. It mitigates it pretty I, well, I, don't I you think? Like that. It's not now, bad. That's what he suggested. Not bad. Sh- uh, sh- he's, he, he's, he, no, he's not suggesting. He says the NFL's, 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 NFL's wow. looking at that. I kind of like and that. I, the NFL's and it makes you that think, direction. what would you do? Like, if you were in that spot, what would you do? I think I'd would take you, the bye. I think I would, too. I think no, I'd take although, the you think about a trip to Buffalo. That's what I'm saying. Or you th- I mean, but I don't want to go to Orchard Park. But Kansas City could snow similar to Buffalo, so it's not like. It could. Yeah, but Kansas City has got such a big home field advantage. Huge and remember, no who is your first game? If you're Kansas City and you go ahead and say, we'll take the two seed, who Chargers? are you getting? No, you're it? probably getting that New England-Miami oh, deal. Oh, that's a layup. You're getting that New England-Miami deal. Whoever comes out of that and Pittsburgh. That, they're all 8-8. Eight and eight. They're all very similar. And one of those is yeah. going to end up being the 7 seed, right? Am I right? And the yeah. Chargers? Where are the, the Chargers? Kansas Chargers City. are in. Chargers yeah. are in. Yeah. They're, they're in. Five, I think. And are they going to be the 5? Yeah. And if we Kansas City. No, no, no. Baltimore right now would... That they'd be the five and the Chargers. If the Chargers win, the Chargers and Baltimore five. are both ten and six. Correct. So yeah. one of those going to be so five. One of them. Since Baltimore, avoid, the Chargers yeah. get yeah. the five. So you avoid the Chargers and Baltimore in the first round. You right. get New England, Miami, or Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. at home, and so you they, get all games at and home. You all get, games at home, and and revenue. You you don't have to play Cincinnati oh. and Buffalo. That's an interesting. It would be Cincinnati revenue. or Buffalo. It would be Cincinnati revenue. or Buffalo. Correct. You don't have yeah. to play through both teams. You hear they what you're asking? Yeah. Revenue, said, of course. They say well, it's like thirty to forty that, million dollars right. in the playoff, and who's actually making the decision? Hey, it's the Not owner. the head coach. Yeah. It's the owner. It's the owner. Yeah. So that situation. All those situations. You play a weak team in the first round. You get all home games, you get all the revenue, and you don't have to play Cincinnati and Buffalo. You play one or the other. And Cincinnati you get, Buffalo and you get them in your building. Other. And if you're Kansas right. City, you could make a claim that you have one of the best home field advantages. If you take the playoffs week off, if you look at the record historically yeah. in the playoffs of teams coming off that week yeah. off by, what they it? win about 75% of the time. It's a pretty good number. So, And you'd only have two games to win to go to the bowl. Granted, one of them would on be on the road. road. Yeah, that's it's true. I mean, you're taking a risk every time you take the field. Yeah. Like a Patrick Mahomes could get hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I was saying. Sounds like an easy win. You guys had him rolling his ankle earlier. No, he did. Going there. Dude, it's football. No, have, my my situation was, as Niner fans, we would be thinking differently about this. No doubt. Because if you're Buffalo, you work all season long to get home field advantage, and you beat Kansas City in Kansas City, in which you haven't done the last two postseasons, and all of a sudden I'm thinking, man, the playoffs going through Orchard Park. We have a distinct home field advantage up there at Orchard Park in Buffalo, and it's going to be howling. Yeah. If we're Niner fans... And that game was hanging in the balance. I guarantee you, seventy percent. Well, I'm thinking about Baltimore fans. Baltimore, fans. Baltimore right. fan is saying, "Okay, you don't play that game. We can't win the division. We can't they win the division. So, so they exactly, are the, they're the team most negatively affected. And that's at, why for I sure. said, if I'm Baltimore and they decide today we're not playing that game, then I call the NFL and say, well, we're, we're not playing. Yeah, either. we're going to send our practice squad right. to Cincinnati because they can't do anything yeah, other them. than what slide down a clip. But mm-hmm. that's well, the same mentality for yeah, Detroit yeah, right now. Slide, slide down behind the Chargers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Detroit guru's mad about this. Yeah, I hear what he's saying because like Detroit will know with certainty that's kind of why I love baseball the one thing they do well we're all starting at one o'clock on Sunday yeah, they, they, oh, no. so that, they this took week. that from no, the he's European right. soccer he's, he's, yes. he's absolutely right he's absolutely yeah. right because the the game that should be the Sunday night game exactly. is Jacksonville is Tennessee because that one is not affected by anyone game. else it's a playoff yeah. game it's a standalone he's, so yeah, you have a Saturday which is all right whatever but, but no, like this is it is yeah. it's an exa- we've watched this a billion times before. They, they let the, the TV outcome. networks yes. run this thing because That's Jack- what I've been Jacksonville, Tennessee is a playoff game, but it's Jacksonville and Tennessee. Yeah. So it's no media markets, nobody really cares all that much. 
Instead, we're getting Aaron Rodgers and Green yep. Bay on Sunday Night Football mm-hmm. and Lambeau Field the and all that stuff. Frozen tundra, but but everything's set up for Green Bay too, right? And the, but the high likelihood is, don't we think Seattle it, 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 probably beats the Rams? Exactly, yeah. and it takes the juice out of the game before it even starts. Which sucks, right? Which sucks. Well, I think I, I still think though, uh, Dan Campbell's going to have the Lions win the pull up upset. He's got well, that rah-rah in him. They'll and make they it interesting. The of course. Picks, and the Packers, it's a win-win for them. And the, the Packers will be in a, uh, what, a win and in situation. Love, they would I, love I to ruin the Packers yeah. season. Mark, what we were trying to get at, like the one thing that we underestimate, we saw this during COVID, you owe your television partners specific windows for these games, and when you don't deliver on that, there's this entire yeah. money see, thing that's up in the see, air. See, I push back I'm, on that. Yeah, I'm in Bonte's yeah. camp on this one because these windows are so massive that – if you call the network and say, hey, we're going to have to move this a week. Are you okay with that? And they look, well, we had a murder she wrote reunion planned. Right. I wonder if we can bump that. Whatever you're putting on is going to get like a four or five rating versus like a 20 or a 21. Right. NFL They're is okay king. with it. I, I understand that, but there's a reason why they didn't have the games during COVID on a Monday because they didn't want to compete with their <clears throat> wow. a- ABC partners. They like, played games just... on Tuesday, though, during yeah, COVID. Exactly. But that was my point. Yeah. Is they wanted to avoid taking eyeballs off of what they owed ESPN and stuff. There, there's just It's more complicated than it seems. There, I hear what you're saying. There's though. no doubt that no matter what you do, that there's going to be a major financial trickle down effect because I know we've also, I think, we've sort of underrated the problem with just absolving that uh, the Pro Bowl week, yeah. the, the week before the yeah. Super Bowl. We're like, yeah, just blow that off. The NFL highly, 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 highly does not want to no. do that because think about. The financial implications, first of all, that pro the Pro Bowl games, as they're calling mm-hmm. it, that's a massive it's corporate event. That is a yeah. massive corporate yep. event. Yep. Think about the fact that you want to get the media to the Super Bowl site, right? Mm-hmm. Well, seven days before the Super Bowl, you don't even know who's in it. Yeah. So how now, now what yeah. media's got to the get logistics. there? There are and every single stadium that has been reserved, and and who knows has what concerts going on. The now following you're going to move See, that, everything a whole week. I know. Like they'll I, still make their money. They will. Everybody's going to make their cash. Everybody's going to be happy. It's a We're big all deal. Watch. Yeah, but and say, we'll just but complain example, about it beforehand. If you have the Rolling, like, right. excuse me, a hypothetical. You have the Rolling Stones for three nights at Levi Stadium. Case in point. Right. And then they've got that book knowing. Eh, there's nothing going on that weekend. You can't just say, oh. Scrap two nights of the Rolling well, Stones. They, it's it's you easy make up to those say. They you make be, up those dates. Yeah, though. they got to be flexible right. anyway because they actually don't right. know if the Niners are going to be home on the comedy road club. in the playoffs. But I'm you have a about comic that, come that in the weekend. Date. Yeah, yeah. yeah come, perfect example. You had a comic come in on the weekend. They spell calls cops, comedy clubs like, yo, I want to do seven shows next week. Well, that comic on that week is like, you know what? I understand it's Dave Chappelle. You get bumped. You come back at a later date, Chappelle takes it over. You will figure out a way to make that money back. A little different with the Super Bowl that, than right. uh, with the uh, 300 one, seat right. comedy club. Exactly. The, the one, mean, one thing. And the hotels. Little, little example. The that one was a little flex by you, you know. And me no, and I wasn't trying to flex. I wasn't trying to be Mark Willard, man. <laughs> that's a little buzzer beater at 926. Mark Willard running the NFL no, players in Air Force. That's Isaiah Stewart. Draymond. You know you know the one thing this does not. I keep underestimating Day-Day like he's a puck, man. I keep hearing too much he didn't want no smoke. I would either. I don't blame uh, him at all. I, I don't know. He got clowned last night. He got lured no. into it, and he got clowned. All right, we got to go? All right.